you started as a documentary filmmaker ji what is an advice that you would give to your younger self now considering where the journey that you've had from you know documentary filmmaking to then making kabul express and to now making films the kind of films that you're making today what is something that you tell your younger self today i'm not sure you know because i know it sounds it might sound a little uh, pompous but i'm i've been very happy with my journey hmm. and i'm very happy with what i went through and the struggles i went through as a documentary filmmaker hmm. and what it taught me right. and so when i made the sort of lateral shift from documentaries to um, mainstream cinema because i didn't go through the usual route of assisting somebody or you know that's that's a more that's a, i would right. say not easier route but did you never but, uh, assist on a set i never except for half a film uh, oh. which is uh, gautam ghosh's film called guria Uh, and that is okay. also coming from my documentary so basically what happened is that um i was doing my documentaries i started getting some level of frustration as a documentary filmmaker because at that point in time unlike now there were mm. not too many avenues or there were not too many platforms where you could show your documentaries so ek yeah. thodi si ek frustration aa rahi thi ki yaar hum bana to rahe and i become what you would say you know i was pretty successful in getting documentaries commissioned from international networks and i was being able to do the kind of stuff yeah. i wanted um afghanistan mein bahut kaam shuru kar diya tha maine lekin ye tha ki acha ye documentaries hum bana rahe hain they going to festivals abroad they going to networks abroad lekin ek wo jo aapke audience ke sath interaction hota hai na wo nahi ho raha tha and i started realizing that i'm missing that I, hmm. at the end of the day uh, any communicator now wants to be able to have this interaction yeah. with with his or her audience hmm. and uh, i could see even in my documentaries i started thinking a little like oh i wish actually i could have this light come from here and i said yeah why am i why am i get, you know Achha. doing this yeah. and then one incident happened with me in afghanistan where i ah. re- realized the power of um, uh, mainstream cinema i knew ki isse stronger uh, platform hamari uh, hamari uh, mulk mein hai nahi it's the strongest platform you can have and if you want to tell a story that reaches out to millions you have to be on mainstream yeah. cinema uh, and it's an incident that actually saved my life Um, oh. I don't know whether I've mentioned it to you in, in the you last did, time yes. we spoke. Where yeah. you know where there were some locals who had seen some film, right? Some Indian film. Correct. The Afghan. So basically, it was a. I was I was uh, uh, trying to get into Afghanistan, and we were stuck in a place called uh, Dushanbe in Tajikistan, and we were not able to get in. So finally, one day there was this helicopter that was taking off from uh, um, Dushanbe, going to Kabul, and we took that. It was a Russian military helicopter. So we took them to the side and took a little bit of the Indian jogger. करके थोड़े से डॉलर वॉलर दिए एंड हिड अस इन हिज हेलीकॉप्टर कार्गो एंड फ्लू ऑफ फ्रॉम द शंबे टू गो टू काबुल बट बिफोर वी कुड रीच काबुल ही जस्ट ब्रॉट इट डाउन इन यू नो समवेयर इन द माउंटेंस आउटसाइड काबुल एंड ही सेड अब कूदो यहां से एंड वी लिटरली हैड टू हैंग फ्रॉम द चॉपर एंड जंप ऑफ द मिडल ऑफ नोवे ही टुक ऑफ एंड देयर इज दिस वन गाय हु केम टुवर्ड्स अस all around we all we can see is mountains is one guy is coming he suddenly seen this helicopter come mm. two guys jump off or zamane mein you know so many special forces they sab aa rahe the he was really angry he had a gun in his oh, sure. uh, hand and he was saying something like really angrily towards us in in he speaking in dari and he was cocking his kalashnikov and i said bhaiya the meri zindagi yahi tak hai kisi ko pata nahi chalega hum kahan the because nobody knew we gone into that in that helicopter yeah. where we were we were somewhere in the mountains of afghanistan uh, wahan pe lash padi hui matlab who would bother and the only thing i knew is that these guys have have a certain sense of warmth toward indian so jaise jaise aane laga we kept Achha. saying india hindustan hindustan and suddenly he stopped and he started singing a song mere sapno ki rani ka vibe kya baat hai that day i realized boss hindi <laughs> cinema se bada platform kuch nahi hai it literally saved my life yeah. and this is one of the opening scenes of literally of kabul express and the, yeah. my experiences of what happened with me as a documentary filmmaker in afghanistan is the story of kabul express me and my friend rajan yes. kapoor yes. uh are basically what john and arshad are playing yes, yes, um yes. and that's that's so and that's why i took a very conscious decision because a lot of people said kya documentaries banate the lekin aap seedha mainstream cinema mein uh, how did you land up over there i said mm. for me it was very important i knew ki i want to do mainstream cinema because in mm. the in as documentarian i was already facing the problem of a limited audience i said nahi yaar this is the platform on which i want to play and mm. tell my stories and see if i am able to you know bring a little difference of my own to that because when mm. i entered uh, mainstream cinema 
पॉलिटिक्स उस टबू मतलब क्या पॉलिटिक्स के बारे बात मत करो तो काबुल एक्सप्रेस सोचो तब भी बहुत छोटे बजट की फिल्म थी आदि सेड ओके यू नो यू सेड द वे यू यू वांट टू एंड व्हेन इट केम आउट एंड ही सेड नो दिस इज वाज क्वाइट अ क्राउड प्लीजिंग फिल्म ही सेड इट्स नॉट अ हेवी फिल्म सो ही सेड लॉट ऑफ ह्यूमर इन द फिल्म देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ह्यूमर एंड एंड वन थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आदि टोल्ड मी ही सेड यू नो आई एम ए पॉलिटिकल बट when you told me the story of kabul express you you explained the politics that i need to know to understand the story as an as the story went by he said if you can do that right then even at a larger scale you can make political films and and that's exactly what my next film new york was yeah